This is Ronald Dilst II, and I welcome you to the Ronald Dilst II Podcast. With degrees in theater, film, entertainment business, and creative writing, I've been extremely blessed with opportunities to produce media, digital films, commercials, music videos, and stage plays. Through these experiences, I've had the wonderful pleasure of meeting and working with some amazing talent in the entertainment industry. My goal for this show is to share their stories and experiences while learning about the challenges and obstacles they may have faced while going after their dreams and ultimately succeeding. While serving as a college professor and running my own production company, Ronald Dilsa Second Productions, I'm always seeking for ways to educate, encourage, and inspire the whole entire world. Welcome to the Ronald Dilsa Second Podcast. Today, we have two special guests with us. Our first guest is Mr. Anderson C. Hill II. Anderson C. Hill II is a man of many firsts. He was the first minority graduate from the University of Florida with a Juris Doctorate and MBA simultaneously completed. Hill became the first internal attorney for Bethune-Cookman College, now University. The Central Intelligence agency appointed him as an urban fellow, while the FBI Quantico invited him to lecture agents in different parts of the United States. Hill is the author of In Search of the Truth, a real life story about what an attorney should not do. This book is being made into a full length feature film entitled Downhill, written and produced by Ronald Dills II Productions. Our second guest is Mr. C.J. Joseph. C.J. Joseph is a native of Orlando, Florida, and now resides in the greater Houston, Texas area. He is a proud member of the Screen Actors Guild. C.J. is currently co-starring as Principal Haney on the CW's Walker starring Jared Padalecki. He has appeared in numerous projects, including AT&T, Verizon Wireless, IBM, Raytheon, A&W Restaurant, Dr. G Medical Examiner, Don McGill Toyota, and Washington Nationals baseball team, to name a few. In addition to being behind the camera, he is the owner of Casual J Versations Talk Show. I introduce you all to my two special guests and my executive producing partners, on our feature film, Downhill, Mr. Anderson C. Hill II and Mr. C.J. Joseph. How you brothers doing today? Woo! All right. <laughs> Glad to be here. It's a blessing. Definitely a blessing, man. I appreciate you both taking time out of your busy schedule yes, and making this possible, man. We're here to talk about something big today. Mm-hmm. All right. So mm-hmm. today, the three of us were brought together to discuss an amazing story that we want to produce as a film, right? The name of this film is called Downhill. Yes. Right? Yeah. Downhill. Downhill. So Downhill. that's what we're talking about. So, But um, my icebreaker, fellas, uh, I like to do an icebreaker to start the show out. Brother Hill, do you remember when we first met? Yes, sir. Tell I us do. tell us about that. Tell us it about was a very that. interesting o- occasion for me. Uh, I had been asked to come and uh, do a teach-in at, um, at one of the mill schools yes, here. here Robinswood. Robins, yeah. Robinswood Mill School over in Pine Hills. And, uh, of course, I was excited. Uh, I had uh, started to volunteer a lot with the superintendent of public schools. Uh, he had made me one of his African-American advisors. And so uh, I was definitely committed to uh, participating and, 
and encouraging the students. So I went into this classroom as I was directed. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I looked around and, and, and saw all of the, the wonderful, beautiful children. And I looked over at the, at the teaching station and I saw this big, strong, <laughs> handsome, tall. I said, go, look at go. This. I said, look at this young buck here, man. Wow. wow. That's all I said. Wow. I said, look Put at him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So my yeah. heart, my heart went out immediately. And uh eventually uh, you know, I got to know uh Brother Diltz. Yes. And his family. Uh he is a, a good friend of my son, Andy. They went to school mm. together and as we started to uh, talk on that day, you know, we had a lot in common. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife knows his mother, and and you know, it's just it's just one episode after right. another oh, with man. the with the heels and the dilts, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but it's uh, what I look at it as a, a tremendous blessing. Yes, uh, oh, yeah. to to see a young man to grow up in this community to to attend a, a great university that I'll tell you a little bit about <laughs> more later. Um, great oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to graduate from that oh, is man. an accomplishment that in and a, of itself. That was a yeah. blessing itself. <laughs> yeah, and then for the brother to be in his chosen area, too. Oh, yeah. Yes, you know, which was, which was unusual to me as well. And um, so... I fell in love immediately with the brother, oh, and, uh, you know, I, I could see the potential was already there, flourishing. And then as we move forward, uh, because of our educational foundation that we have and and the uh, projects that, that Brother Ronald uh, was engaged in, uh, which is an educational base uh, of, of films or short films, uh, we came together under our educational foundation, his production company, and we uh, sponsored a short film together. Yeah. So yeah. we have, uh, you know, we got some history got here. Some history. Uh, on the Dilt side. Oh, now, you yeah. want me to jump over on the other brother over there? Or you oh, want, you yeah. <laughs> well, that's one of my questions. Oh, okay, you want you know. Okay, oh, just, just hold your horse. He, he started now. Hold your exactly. horses, brother. No, we, we, got, we got a horse now. Yeah. <laughs> tell him, tell him, right? He trying to take my job don't already. Take, right? Don't take over, yeah, brother. He's to take my job. brother here. We got a horse. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. All right. Like, hey, this is my show. This your show. That's what he told me that day in his classroom, too. He said, this is my class. Room, brother. I said, all right, I was doc. already doing. I said, all right. I see. Well, man, that's too much, too much. But no, it was totally a blessing for you to walk in that day, and we don't even get to touch on that story as much. But what was amazing, I remember you offering the students a copy of your book, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, I want a copy of this book because you don't hype us up, you know. Yeah. And so um, we ended up. I don't remember getting a copy at school, but your wife, um, Sister Sandra, bless her, you know, yeah. ended up in my mother's chair getting her hair done. Yes. And yes. them two got to talking, and God led them like, wait, we got sons that knew each other, you mm -hmm. know. Hold on. Right. And that message was passed, and then I probably got my book probably the next week, brother. Mm. Like, isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Like. And and with the goal, the dream to turn it into a film, like this was like, yo, mysterious ways, like yeah, wow, yes, amen. And that's something amen. like that's that's amazing, brother CJ. Yes, sir. What's going on, man, man? I'm trying to make it happen. I know you are, man. So our meeting was a little different, right? Yes. You know, we uh just meeting today, first time in person. First time in but person. I feel like we we've really been knowing. Really? I know. Been wow. knowing each other, yes. right? Yes. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Okay. That crazy. Tell us about you know what you because you had to do your research. Like who is this brother? So, yes. Yeah, so yeah. tell us about your experience, brother. <laughs> well, you know, I, I of course I met Brother Hill at my one of of two home churches Amen. here in Orlando, Amen. which is Mount Pleasant. Amen. Nice. And yes. um, when I had started attending that church um, through my bride before we got married, because she wanted you know her man to go to church. And, uh -huh. yeah, that's another story within itself. <laughs> <laughs> and I got involved with the the theatrical arts ministry at Mount Pleasant yes. because I you know thought and know that that's one of my gifts that he has given unto me. Right. And so, you know, because of that church environment, met Brother Hill. Mm. And 
he had taken a liking to my my performances and things right, of that nature. Right, and just okay. over a period of years after I relocated to Houston to be with my bride, and he would say, well, man, I, I want us to work together and yeah. things of that wow. nature. And this is years ago. Years ago. And a shift happened a few years ago when I landed the reoccurring co-star role on um, CW's Walker yeah. starring Jerry Padalecki. Yeah. And that just took it to another level. Mm. Yeah. Now we really need to work together. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> and so the relationship was already there. And so just by working um, from that point mm -hmm. and, and get to know what the project is and things of that nature, that's how I kind of, kind of got looped in. Yeah. And then he told me about you, of course, and I was like, okay, well, let me let me do my research. Yeah, you know, right. I, Amen. I, I would do the same. That's the funny part. Amen. Do my research. <laughs> you, know, you, you, can't, you can't fool with everybody. Yeah, you can't. Mm -mm. And lo and behold, I got validation. Wow. Mm. Once I did the research and saw that you actually work with some people that I've actually performed with, mm. wow. like yeah. Carrie Hollingsworth. Mm -hmm. and, and then even though you never perform, um, performed with you, with her, with L, Vernay, yeah, that's my ace, boom, coon. And right? actually, the film that L was in, I actually was in that film too. Oh, you was. I wrote, directed, oh, and started. Oh, okay. See and, that part I didn't started, even know. Yeah. But when she validated you, I that's was like, like, "Wow, I'm on board." Wow, I'm yeah, on board. That's like, <laughs> man, when you you told me about those two amazing individuals. I was like, "Wow, I'm 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 set now." You know, yeah, I'm set. So that was a blessing, man. Mm -hmm. I say God is good, man. He's good all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. He is. Wow, no wow. And I'm 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 just excited as I can be to have the opportunity to work with great brothers. Oh, you yeah. know, like both of you. I just think that uh, you know, God has blessed me tremendously to uh, to get to this stage of what we're going to. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Talk so about today. that's what we about to get into now, man. You are the man that God used to bring us all together in this yes. special way. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you wrote a book. Yes, right? sir. You wrote yes. a book, right? Yes, sir. Now you got a couple books now, though, right? Yeah, I'm getting oh, close to I'm the put, second I'm one. I'm putting yes. it on there. Yeah, right? yeah, that's good. Go ahead. Let it so, out. <laughs> <laughs> Let it don't, out. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But the day we're here to talk about In Search of the Truth, man, Yes, sir. this book right here, I mean, it was such an inspiration to write. It took me on a long journey. That would be an episode all by itself, you know, to get this script to where we both were happy with. And um, now we're at a point now that we're actually, we sent it to a professional. I've talked about this in previous episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, we send it to a professional and now we're taking that critique and then we're trying to make it even yeah. better. So, mm -hmm. so it's exciting. So Brother Hill. Why did you write a book that exposed your business, man? That's the big wow. question. That's wow. the big question. Wow. Let's get this thing started, right? Wow. This, this is what we all want to know. Wow. How do we start with this question? Yeah. Wow. Who wrote this script? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. You just jumped <laughs> the host. right. Yeah. <laughs> the host wrote it. They got to stop letting me write the scripts, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just get, get right to it, huh, brother? That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, I tell you what, uh, in anticipation of this meeting, uh, I thought about uh, that question and uh, what God put on my heart was to tell the truth about it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm prepared to do here today. Uh oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Let, mm -hmm. let me disclose why I really uh -oh. wrote the book. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's get yeah. ready. Yeah. Get ready yeah. Amen. 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 Man. You know, I found myself in a situation uh, many years ago that I never thought that I would, I would be in. Um, you know, given my uh, my childhood, the way that um, I always wanted to think that I had a normal childhood, but in reality, I did not. Mm. I had a, uh, a childhood that was, uh, if I could change the name of the book, it would be most descriptive of what I'm a, what I'm attempting to say, mm. and. Uh, I would change the name of the book uh, to Black Professional Life, colon, Constant Drama. Oh, mm. wow. That's been my life mm. uh, pretty okay. much from childhood forward. But I always wanted to think that I had a normal childhood, and I tried to behave in such a way. Uh, 
you know, but I had been exposed to some things growing up. Uh, my father, uh, the way that my father was, he was a man of brilliance, but he was also a man of uh, great temper. Mm. And uh, today I, uh, I, I, I find myself uh, trying to make sure that I control my temper because I know the way that my father would lose his, right. and mm-hmm. as a result of that, he did some 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 pretty pretty bad things. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you a couple of them because I know we we we, we short on time. <laughs> Uh, all but, the time. Let's but go. I want I want you to ask me why did I write the book, right? So <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, really, you know, uh, in summary form. But but anyway, my father, uh, he was like I say, he was a man of brilliance because uh, he built uh, two houses on a piece of land that he purchased in Little Rock, Arkansas, where I was born and, and raised. Uh, one house was for our family to live in, and shrewdly, the other house was to pay for the whole development as a rental property mm. with four different units wow. in that one separate building. Uh, so you you can see that my father, he cared about his family. He loved his family, but my father... Uh, he was uh he was an alcoholic mm. um and like i said he had a bad temper one mm-hmm. one day he thought that uh my mother's uh sister was turning uh my mother against my father mm-hmm. in his mind and he worked himself up so much that he went and took a shotgun goodness and she opened the door and he let her have it uh, two blasts, wow, wow. as a matter of fact, um, and d- he didn't kill her. I, I, I think she she let she lived, but you know she was in pretty bad shape for a long time. Mm. My aunt Otha mm. is her name. Uh, but anyway, so so it, as a result of that, I tried to live my life a certain way. My father, after that episode, later came back. And uh, 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 in, a, in a fit of fury, again, decided to burn down the house that he had built for the family. He, wow. didn't, he, didn't, he didn't touch the income house. He, 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 burnt, <laughs> he burnt down our house. Wow. Yeah, but out of a fit of fury. So I'm trying to get you to see that, you know, tempers can, can lead you into some things that you can't come back from. Right. And so my father ended up uh, uh, going to jail uh, as a result of that. Uh, They caught him in the back of our other property where we were living. Uh, After he had burnt down the property and they said that he was was coming for us. Now, I saw all this to say this. Wow. That's crazy, yeah. I'm telling you about why I wrote the book. And so I started to live my life in such a way where I did I my mother always taught me this. She said that you cannot change who your father is mm-hmm. and you still should love and respect your father, but you don't have to be like your daddy. Right. So that's where, you know, that's the way I started living my life. You know, I love my father. She would let me go and visit him when he was in prison. And so from that, I knew my life was going to be on the straight and the narrow. Right. And right. And, and thank God it was for a, 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 a period of time until, uh, unfortunately, you, you know, they used to say that I had the Midas touch. Uh, but we always got to remember that Midas couldn't eat. Mm. Because everything that he touched turned Turned to go. go. Mm. So eventually I found myself in a situation where I was in in trouble like Midas as a result of of, of my good fortune throughout my life since what I told you about my childhood. And then I can also tell you that I'm a graduate of Little Rock Central High, Mm. 
where integration started in these United States at Little Rock Central High right. with the Little Rock Nine. That was the kind of life that I came up in, one of, of turmoil, strife, civil rights, uh, demonstrations, uh, integration, mm-hmm. you see? So, uh, uh, you know, and, and just coming through all of that, then many people thought that I was not going to be successful in my life. As a matter of fact, I had a few of my teachers say that, you know, we think that you'll probably end up in jail. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, so I'm, I, I tried to live my life such that I was exemplary. I was, I, I it, it, to tell you a little bit about it, I lived my life such that I was afforded a top secret security clearance from the Central Intelligence Agency. Wow. So I yeah. think I live wow. my life pretty straight. Yeah. But uh, 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 there's always right around the corner mm-hmm. what we all are exposed to in our lives, and that's sin. Mm-hmm. And we can't, it just somehow grabs us and it gets all over us and mm. it gets on us to a certain extent that we don't even know we're being sinful, mm. see? Mm, yeah. And that's where I found myself in that condition. Mm-hmm. Uh, found myself, uh, you know, doing things that I had not done, uh, drugs, uh, to be specific about it. None of this came up in terms of my troubles, in terms of my professional life. You know, I was never charged with any dr- drug use or anything you know, any illegal possession, none of that. I was clean. I had a clean, I just told you, top secret security clearance, they just don't give those out to anybody. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, so I had a good record. I had done well. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I uh, I found myself on the wrong side of the law after practicing law for a number of years. Uh, Bethune-Cookman College in Daytona Beach had blessed me to pay for my law school studies and and where I was uh, blessed enough to go to the, the school that Brother Diltz uh, graduated from in undergrad, the University of Florida in Gainesville. Go Gators. Go Gators all oh, day. All are, day. You, are you okay? Oh, are you CJ? okay yeah. Oh, gosh. So anyway. You can see his face. Well, we I had think, the cameras rolling. Gator romance would come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they <laughs> gator romance. thing. They gator thing. Wow. <laughs> You better but, stop, or he, he'd be like, I'm done with this interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So, oh, but man. anyway, anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it off so you can get back into the questions. But, but, but why I wrote the book, you know, I had done so well. Uh, you know, I had uh, uh, been blessed to become the first uh, black person, fifth minority overall to get. Uh, the Juris Doctor and the Master of Business Administration simultaneously in less than three years of study from the University of Florida. The first Mm -hmm. ever to get two graduate degrees in that short of a period of time. And it was extended a bit because during my studies there, you may know, they switched from quarters to semesters. Oh, so that kind of threw off the, yeah. the timing mm-hmm. of it. So, you know, I was blessed. I had been blessed. I mean, they asked me. The CIA came recruiting after that. I found myself in Washington, D.C. I had the opportunity to be a White House fellow. You know, the sky was what I thought mm. the limit. Wow. But then, you know, I was a deacon in the church. Praise mm-hmm. the wow, Lord. Praise mm-hmm. the Lord. God has never left me. Mm-hmm. You know, now I may have strayed away from him, but he's mm-hmm. always been right there. And that's part of the reason I wrote the book mm-hmm. is to show people that you can get off course, that you can lose your way. Mm-hmm. I was consumed in greed. You know, money was my thing. Uh, and, and money's okay. Don't Don't get me wrong. But it's the love of that money. Right. You know, it's not taking that money and sharing it with other people. We're giving that tithe. Mm-hmm. You see? 
I mean, all those things are critical and they're real. And that's why I wrote the book to show people that if you keep your hands in God's hands and do what you should do, even though you may stumble and fall, if you just keep trying and keep the faith, the very next step you take can end in success. All right. And I'm living yeah. proof of it, brother. Amen. And Amen. that's why I wrote the book, because uh, I, I also wanted to show the floor of the bar. I wanted to show the floor of the bar uh, the process of my self-examination mm-hmm. of going through the, the differences of my shortcomings and, and, and looking at myself in the mirror and, and, and just trying to understand, Anderson, what happened to you? Mm-hmm. What happened? You had, you had shaped your life in such a way where you were headed for nothing but success and then... You had to fall. Why? Downhill. Downhill. There you go. Amen. Amen. So then I started to realize that what I could do was just let other people see my life and to see how they can make a mistake, but they can come back as long as they keep their hands in God's hands. Everything will be all right. But it's it's going to be all done on God's time. Absolutely. Not our time. Because I tried to rush it. I tried to rush it. I still thought I was so smart after getting in trouble, getting disbarred, going to prison. I thought I was still so smart that I could overcome what God did not want me to do. And God had a different direction for me in my life. And until I accepted that, then that's when I really found the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When I stopped trying to be who I thought I should be, Mm. and I start being who God wanted me to be. Mm. And boy, when I did that, let me tell you now, let me tell you, that's why we sitting here today. God told me to tell the truth. And that's what I'm trying to do as best as I can. That's why we're sitting here today is because of the fact that, that, that rather than me being ashamed, rather than me accepting this label that they put on people, calling them convicted felons, rather than thinking that I cannot get my life together and also keep my family. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I just celebrate my wife and my family. My wife has been there from day one. I told you I'm from Little Rock, and I have to say that I was from the other side of the tracks. <laughs> See, she was from the good side right. of the tracks. Right. I can remember when she took me home, and, and her father saw me, and he, his face just dropped. He was <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> Not this one. Not this one. <laughs> Who is joking? <laughs> Who is this? And I tried to show him. I tried to show everybody that I could be something, and found myself in my own self-manufactured harm's way. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow! Yeah, wow. That's why I wrote the book, brother. Wow! Right? Yeah. Wow! Like, yeah. I'm like. That's I right. think I think it should be over right now. That's right. <laughs> Interview is over. That's why I, well, really, I wow. gotta get a couple of questions in. <laughs> look out, look out, look out. Y'all know, y'all know brother CJ, like, yo, I know he's playing right now. I'm I drove here now. That's right. <laughs> right. I can't wave from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much. So brother CJ, you wrote uh, you read the book. Yes. All right. Yes. Um I know I read the book, but you read the book. Being someone that's a professional SAG actor, professional producer. Like yourself, what was your your opinion about the book? Left no stone unturned. Mm. It was it was truly transparent. It was truly, literally putting your business out there. Mm-hmm. But let me say this: when I was at Mount Pleasant, and I never told you this, Brother Hill, mm. I'm telling you this for the first time. Mercy. I heard rumblings. You know how we talk. 
Yeah, amen. I heard rumblings. Amen. Oh, don't don't mess with Brother Hill. And mm. he did this uh-huh. and he did that, that and the other with Bethune, Cookman and what have you. But here's the deal. I can't help what you did with your past. Mm-hmm. Right? Amen. And I don't know if that's all what was, was the truth. <laughs> right. Right? Because everything you hear is not the truth. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And so, but when I read the book, it literally opened my eyes of why people were talking. Mm. And and they probably had misinformation because it was filtered down. Yeah. Right? Filtered yeah. down. There was probably some truths in there. Mm-hmm. And then some other things were, were completely exaggerated. Mm. But the book gave clarity on those rumblings. But it also gave insight to who you are and what you had been through and how God actually pulled you through. Mm-hmm. You, you, you talked about a couple of things like sin all over you. One, the, I'm a big song reference guy. Mm. Wow. And the, the song that came up used to be played on 102 Jams back in my day. 102. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Every, it was, it was on rotation. It was mm. in the loop. Yeah. And when you said sin all over you, the song that came in mind was, Wicked, 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 wicked. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That wicked, 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 wicked all over wicked, wicked. you. Right? He is not playing about that being played a lot yeah, back a in the lot. day. Yes. That was, wow. Yeah, that was a sub. I just yeah. feel good I can say back in the day. Back though. in the day. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, wow. Exactly. And then from an uh, artistic point of view, mm. I was like, man, this this not only can be a, a feature film, mm. but this can be a and episodic because mm-hmm. there's yeah. so many different yeah. layers that are in there that have not been, you know, from my understanding yes. right. told. Mm-hmm. So when I read the book, it's one of the very few books that I've actually read from the cover <laughs> to cover. <laughs> right, right. I'm right. not a book, a big book reader, Amen. Amen. but it, it gave insight. It gave clarity and it provided um, a way forward to, to be involved with this project. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's amazing, man. Well, I'm glad you came on board, brother. <laughs> right. Yeah. Both of you brothers, man. I, mean, I just want to see his face reading the book after hearing all these rumors, and then now you got the truth yeah. in your hands. Ain't yeah. that something like, you just like, what? Yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, you, wow. you, you hear things from, from, from people, and you just have to be careful, of mm-hmm. it, regardless if they're a friend or a family. Yeah. Or whatever the case may be, you just got to be yeah. careful on the things that you hear because you just don't know the entire. You don't know the Paul Harvey, right? You don't know the, the rest of the story, right? right? Amen. Right? Amen. Oh yeah. Can, can oh, yeah. I, I, I want to just add something real quickly right there sure. about why I wrote the book? I anticipated what you were saying, mm-hmm. brother CJ. I knew that people definitely knew of me because mm-hmm. of just being in the news. Yeah, being in the news, the support of Bethune Cookman uh, College at that time. Um, uh, you know, so uh when you go into federal prison, you have the opportunity when you transition back into society to go through this program, and I know most people have heard of this, is the halfway house. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now with the halfway house, uh, one of the benefits, if you will, (laughs) of prison and coming out federal uh, is that you can go to anywhere there's an available bed. Mm -hmm. My family had gone back to Little Rock as I went to Alabama Mm. uh, to do that involuntary uh, vacation mm. is the way I looked at it. It mm-hmm. was involuntary, mm-hmm. and, but it was it was it was uh, it was a time away from my family. So yeah. now, so they went back there. So then we had an opportunity to go to halfway house mm-hmm. in Arkansas. I mean, I even looked in Hawaii. You see, as long wow. as oh, wow. as long as it's within the fifty states and within the federal federal system. And availabilities there, you can go. You wow. see, so so initially, my thinking, of course, was to get the fresh start, to go to another state and maybe get back in the bar, dot, you know. 
But God didn't see it like that. He put on my heart, and this is, Brother CG, I, I want to say, because I'm, I'm glad to hear you say what you said, mm-hmm. because I've always known that that's just the nature of people, too. Sure. Especially so, our people. So, uh, but God said, no, you should go back to Central Florida. Mm. Go back and show people who you really are, Mm -hmm. who you tried to be all those years and who you were before that, 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 that glitch in your life, Mm -hmm. that slip up in your life, show them. So then that's what made me come back here. And then coming back here, I said, well, I know they're going to be talking about me. I mean, that, that he's a convicted felon thing has become rampant in the black community, especially with black men, the, the rate of incarceration of, that we have, and to label people with that, with that negative label. It may be a truthful label, but it's not one that you're easily going to be accepted. Mm-hmm. I said, I'll just tell the story before they do. Right, mm-hmm. right. Control yeah. the narrative. Control the narrative, Smart. and that's where In Search of the Truth uh, part of the of the, the 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 impetus for me to uh, to write the book hmm. also okay. was to awesome. yeah, yeah to let awesome. people so uh, hear my side right, right so once you you wrote the book um, what happened once the book was released wow uh, a lot of good things started good. to happen uh, you know but I think uh, I had changed my my ways, if you will, as I mentioned, I knew that I had identified a negative characteristic in me was that of greed, you know, money hungry. So uh, as I began to uh, see different uh, levels of uh, economic success again, especially through the book, I decided that I wanted to have a piece of the book where I would give it away Mm -hmm. rather than trying to sell it and to, you know, uh, make a big profit off of it. Mm -hmm. I decided to give. And so in doing that, and that goes back to what we were just talking about, Brother Dills, when I met you. Mm -hmm. You know, I had uh, approached the the uh, school board, the school uh, district administrator, administrator, the superintendent, uh, and asked him could I distribute the book uh, at the two predominantly black high schools in Orlando at that time, which was Jones High School and Evans. Hmm. And uh, I wanted to encourage the students to start a library at their homes and I wanted to, and I did. I put each student's personal name in the book and autographed it for them. Nice. And so, in doing that, uh, we gave away over three thousand wow. of the first copies wow. of In Search of the Truth to every ninth grade student uh, at Jones High School and every ninth grade student at Evans High School. And I personally. Autograph and signed each book for those three thousand plus students. Amazing. Wow! And you're looking at an Evans High School graduate here. Yeah, so. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about, man. See how the connection? Yeah. Okay. Connection. Wait. Wait. Hold up. Time out. Uh-oh. We Uh-oh. already talked about the Gators. Now Uh-oh. we're talking about Uh-oh. the Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There is only go. one Uh-oh. historically black high school Uh-oh. in Uh-oh. Central Uh-oh. Florida, Uh-oh. and that is my beloved yeah. Jones High School uh-uh. Tigers. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna hate because my parents. Parents are Jones High School Tigers. Actually, Jones High School Sweetheart Tigers. All right. But I just happened to go across to Evans High School. <laughs> he so, slipped and bumped his head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm still here to live and say it all. Okay? <laughs> hey, don't blame me. Blame my parents. That's where they lived at. So. <laughs> I would have went wherever God sent me. But he wanted me to go. See how yeah. I turned that around? Yeah, he wanted me to you. go he do work at Evans. I see you. <laughs> go, Moses, go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think uh, Jones had a um, the drama department though when I came through. So Evans did have a drama department. So I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I was never part yeah. of the drama department. I was part of the the, the choir. Oh, okay, and, hit a hit a and, note for and, us and a, and a marching band. <laughs> hit a hit a note for us then. 
Uh -oh. Ooh -wee. Uh oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Hey, that is the first time this happened on any of us. So I'll let you know. Y'all already know. Special treat, I'm telling you. <laughs> Special treat up in here. That's talent. Oh, That's man. Talent. Brother CJ, let's go back. Okay, so well, this is for both of y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll just throw it out there. So this book, we've been talking about this book. Why do we think this book would make a great film? Goodness gracious. You know, some of the foundations of a great film is having a protagonist mm -hmm. and an antagonist. Oh yeah. And this, this book has both, right? This book has a foundation where it is able to be told in a manner coming from a, a first person perspective. And it's based on a true story. Mm -hmm. People love movies based on a true story mm -hmm. because perhaps they can see something in the movie mm -hmm. and something in their lives that occurred. Amen. Maybe oh, not yeah. exactly parallel, mm -hmm. but some similarities. Mm -hmm. So with, with, with that great foundation, and there's many layers of the book that tells a story it's 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 some it's drama definitely drama mm -hmm. there's some some major <laughs> drama <laughs> right um there are some things in the book that will that that will make you laugh mm -hmm. right um there are some things in the book that that really also shows god's favor mm. mercy Amen. god's mercy yes god's grace yes and it's not a spiritually based book, mm -mm. but the spirit is within it. Yeah. Amen. Now. Right. All right. Now. Amen. Right. Amen. So with those ingredients um, and some other ones that I'm probably not touching on, but those are some of the ingredients that I thought would make the, the feature, the, the book, a great feature film. But again, not, I'm going to continue to speak this until it is in existence. Amen. A great episodic as well. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm speaking it. Yeah, speak you know, life. You, um, I yeah, think I'm, that was I'm claiming it. One thing that stuck out to me too, because I was like, um, Brother Hill's story is so like it's it's a large story. This book, it's like there's no way we can fit this in a film. Mm -hmm. Right. So I was like, the only way we can do this is to make it a TV series, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, and so that was something. What's the uh the TV series that we both were kind of watching in this season? Um, they about to come out with the the last season. Um, you already know what is the name. I, I have to come back. Snowfall. To it. Snowfall. Snowfall. Okay. Yeah, I Snowfall. love Snowfall. Okay. okay. Yeah. Snowfall is man, and so yeah. I'm just like I can see some, this is something like this with just a you know just like Snowfall is Snowfall one word mm -hmm. downhill yeah. one word yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. it's like mm -hmm. man mm -hmm. it, it is definitely possible. We gonna, God got to tell the story, so yes, he's gonna mm -hmm. he gonna make sure he he allow us to tell it. So, right. Right. So yeah. So so brother Hill, why do you want to turn this into a film well you know i i think that if we can show people the uniqueness but at the same time that um common touch mm -hmm. uh and the reason that i style it in, in that manner is that you know i came from very humble beginnings but yet i found myself uh in the Pentagon in Washington D.C., being saluted mm -hmm. by generals mm. as I as I as I perform my duties uh, for the CIA. Mm -hmm. So I want people to be able to see that you can you can have a certain beginning mm. and you can go all the way to the top, mm. but as you go as you go there and you get there when you arrive. <laughs> <laughs> Know that there are some things that will pull you quickly down. So, you know, I want to show it. And, and as Brother CJ just said, and you too, uh, Brother Ronald, is that there's so many different layers. Layers. It's like of an just, onion. Yeah, yeah, it's just. Wow. It's, it's like an it, onion. It, you, it, it, and I, I want to say this too uh, for, for, for you brothers as well as uh, the audience. 
you know, I uh, I, I I find it difficult in uh, in talking about myself mm-hmm. uh, because of my uh, the, my focus on Jesus Christ mm-hmm. and uh, the men's ministry that that I've been blessed to uh, lead for twenty three years now, called the Men of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, the men of Jesus focal scriptures, Matthew sixteen twenty four, and that scripture just quickly says that in order to become a disciple of Jesus Christ, you must first deny yourself. Yep. Oh, yeah. Deny is the key word. Mm-hmm. Take up your, your cross, cross and follow <laughs> Jesus. Right. So, mm-hmm. so in doing, I, even late, latest last night, I was thinking, you know, I just, I just want to be, I, I want to be obedient to the Lord. I want to be able to show people who the Lord is, not who I am by any means. Mm-hmm. But if they can see him through me, yes. then that's the that's the win. That's the win. But uh, you know, so I just I, I think that if people could see that that uniqueness to 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 come from a burnt down house, you know, and your father's maybe trying to kill you. But then to know and to love your father, I think that's part of the problems that we have within our community right. is that nobody's perfect and we can't all just always uh, make people, family, our enemies. You know, uh, no, we don't have to be like them, but we still can love them. Yeah, That's yeah. what I, I want to show that. And, and there's different, it's different episodes to that. Right. In my right. life, including my my wife, the way that you know she she hung in there. I met her on the steps of Little Rock Central High. She was fifteen years old. I was sixteen. Mm-hmm. The first time I saw her, I can tell y'all my pickup line. This may help you. <laughs> may help some of you young brothers out there. You know, you know. definitely not these two. No, not, not these y'all. Two. Not y'all. Y'all, y'all we little bit yeah. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> Get me in trouble. Okay, right, right. <laughs> no, no, but listen. Mind listen. Like, you host the show. <laughs> listen to the line, though. Yeah, okay. Listen to the All line. Right, See, now. that's what I'm talking about, that uniqueness. Oh. <laughs> 16 years old now. Wow. And I told her, first words out my mouth, I said, you're going to be a beautiful, older woman. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. All right now. Yes, sir. You heard it first. Mm. Yeah, and and here we are, forty five, forty five 45 years later, later wow. of, of happy, blessed marriage. Amen. Except for my craziness, I oh. would, you know, if it weren't for that, it, it, it would be close to perfection. Right, yeah. right. Well, but we all know there's only one. That's right. Perfection. That's right. You know, yeah. it, I, Amen. Chime in. You you mentioned Amen. you wanted to show people who the Lord was mm-hmm. and, and not you. Mm-hmm. It brings me back to mm-hmm. when when uh, our, our dear brother mm-hmm. Charles Williams Jr. Mm-hmm. started preaching at Mount Pleasant, who is now a pastor. Yeah. Said when every time he 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 started his sermon, he would say, "Hide me behind the cross." Yes. Mm-hmm. So that others don't see him right nice. but see yeah. you yes. our lord yeah so yes. yeah yeah so yeah. it so pastor pastor williams you didn't think i was listening oh <laughs> i was right. listening Ooh. he was listening Ooh. he was listening well said. Yeah. well said well yeah. said he, he was listening he was paying attention was now taking absolutely. notes absolutely. absolutely i think your absolutely. wife would be proud in anything yeah. right hello. she got you in now <laughs> hello hello <laughs> That's, that's another, that's another that's podcast. Right. All right. By that's all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 Um, so, Brother Hib, you've told us a lot about your um, kind of like your hope, the hope that you um, plan to convey through the message to the world. Um, is any other key elements that you want to convey through this film? You know, when we are blessed to start production on it. What's your like ultimate goal to convey to the world through this experience? Well, I think my ultimate goal is to show the uh, resilience Mm -hmm. of black men. Yeah. Yeah. After, you know, the struggles that we encounter uh, after being told at 
Central High that I was not college material. Mm-hmm. And uh, to go on and to uh, to do the things that academically that I was blessed to do, I want to show the resiliency of uh, of being a black man, yeah. and that there's a sense of dignity, and at the same time, just because we respect and our, and we love ourselves, that does not mean that we're against anybody else. Right. <laughs> right. You know, we're right. not the enemy right. by any means. You yeah. know, I, I'll give up my life for this country. Mm-hmm. See, that's the truth. So I want to show people that, you know, we are of value mm-hmm. and that, you know, that we should be respected because we respect and love others. Yeah. That's what I want. To, I want I want mm-hmm. when people to look at us, I want them to see not a convicted felon. Mm-hmm. You know, I want them to see a man. All right now. Yes, sir. All right. Now back to the film idea. Now I'm going to throw a question to Brother CJ over here. You being a professional actor that you are, what type of characters do you see playing some of these roles in this film? Oh, gosh. Oh, um, that's a good one, right? I was waiting. One. I was like, let me. Yeah, that's nice. Man. Um, and when you say characters, you mean the actual people. Yeah, if you have some actual people that you're like, man, he, he would be great at this role. Sure, sure. <laughs> Idris comes to mind. All right. right? Now. <laughs> yeah, Idris comes to mind. Morgan Freeman comes to mind. Wow, wow, wow. Um, mm. All right, and, now. And, and you know what? I've already said this before, and I've already told her. Uh oh. El Bernay Uh-oh. comes to mind. Okay. Playing your wife. Wow. All right now. Yeah. Praise. All right. All yeah. Right. So I mean, I, that's, that's at the, the top, Lord. right? Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah, of, praise of, the Lord. Of, of, of those, those, mm-hmm. and I consider her. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. To okay. be in that upper echelon. Mm. Okay. So I love it. But I some love people it. like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Amen. Um, Amen. And and the 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 characters in the book are so very colorful, mm. but real. Yeah. Yeah. Real. Yeah. They're real. Very colorful, real. Very but real. real. Wow. Yes. So some of those people like that. Nice. I yeah. love it. I love it. Now, also, this question is for you. So seeing and knowing your experience, you read the book. You pretty much read the book and the script kind of in a sense together. Yeah. Um, like, mm-hmm. do you think that story was portrayed as best as it could be through from the book to the script? Well, as as best as it could be, yes. And, you know, we had the the good fortune. I, I sent the script to um, Lynn in California, who's a script analysis Mm -hmm. that was able to show us some other things, right? Because we don't know everything, right? Right. But to show us some other things to try to tweak it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, And, and no, no feature film would ever tell the story ever like a book, right? Because Mm -hmm. a good feature film, about 90 minute runtime. Yeah. Once you get into that, Mm -hmm. that, that, that more than 90 minutes, close to two hours or over two hours, you, you're going to lose people. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then to, on top of that, you, you better have some A-listers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right. That's going to right. carry <laughs> an audience attention span mm-hmm. for that period of time. So that's why I keep harping on and speaking, giving voice to speaking into existence of an episodic because yeah. of oh, yeah. the, the book, the feature would never tell every Everything. every nook and cranny mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. about the book. Yeah. Um, so, but as it is written, it gives a a beautiful um, story, a beautiful mm-hmm. journey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, and then I can't wait because I haven't seen the the you, you told me the updates. Oh. But I haven't read them as of yet, so I some can't them, them, wait yeah. <laughs> until I see the the edit and how that looks and how much more beautiful it will be. Oh man, yeah, you know, an episodic will have me. Uh, that'll be another full time job for me, so I'm excited about. It. Yeah. <laughs> well, so by that, listen, by that time, yeah. we will have a we again. Oh, I, I was I, I had the the good fortune of of moderating a discussion panel yesterday in Fort Lauderdale, nice, mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. and. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal panelists and speakers and phenomenal stories. 
And you reminded me, Brother Hill, of that panel because the, the, the I asked each panelist, what's the one word that best describes you? One of them said, resilient, mm. right? Mm. Resilient. Mm. And in that, that, that from out of that panel, one of the persons, LaVeda Humphrey out of North Carolina, mm-hmm. she talked about lending your voice to speak life into mm. something. Mm. So it's, it's that speaking into existence of what you want mm-hmm. taught by a former manager on mine when I was, when I was selling cars back in my day. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All right now. But so speaking life into that episodic that yeah. will help tell the other layers of that onion mm. because there's different layers and we haven't, and the book doesn't, it, your brother here, you've already touched on it a few times, um, be, having top clearance um, with the CIA. The book doesn't even touch on that. Yeah. Right? No, not really. It, it, no, it, no. Doesn't, it, it, it gives you just a, a sprinkling, a, a sprinkle. A sprinkle. Yeah. Uh, in, my, in my sports show I used to do, I would say a sprinkle. Go. <laughs> Y'all know right. I'm seeing the guy on social yes. media with a sprinkle, a sprinkle. <laughs> a sprinkle. Of, of of that, yeah. but it oh, doesn't man. tell the story completely. So I can't wait to see mm-hmm. that. Oh, we got well. some good ones. Yes. We got some good ones. Yes, yes sir. So when yeah. it comes to distribution, brother Hill, mm-hmm. what's your goal for this film once it's went through production? It's done. It's edited. The composer got it. What's your goal for for distribution? What what would you want it to want it to do? I want it to uh, fly throughout the United States and on into the outermost points of the viewing world. That's my goal. All right, now mm. brother, that's my goal, brother mm. CJ. I'm gonna have you jump in on that question. Yes. Uh, Distribution and being a SAG after actor, being the second vice president of the local Houston, Austin, we've talked a lot about um, distribution in some of our board meetings and things like that and how theater numbers are down because of streaming, you know, Netflix and Hulu and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. What I would love to see it as being distributed into film, I mean, into theaters across the country. And then at some point during that run, it drops to the streaming services. Mm. Okay. Because what, hap- what happens nowadays because of COVID, theaters were, fo- uh, were, were, were presented with the, the unique challenge. Mm-hmm. Do we go theaters or do we go the route of streaming? So a lot of them went to to streaming, mm-hmm. um, but it would be unique, u- uniquely positioned during that r- during the run mm-hmm. in the theaters. Then boom, it mm-hmm. drops for streaming. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's kind of my 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 vision and my 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 goal. Of how I would want that to happen. That would be awesome. Right? That would be. That would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Who, who is y'all top streaming platform you'll say for this film? Well, <laughs> I've already mentioned, um, you know, SAG after second vice president of Uh-oh. the Houston Austin local. Yeah. Okay, now. Yeah. So I, I, I would have to go with Netflix. Okay. Because okay. we, the SAG Awards, yes. which will be on February 26th, yes. Yes. All right. um, we just Ooh. actually landed a contract with them to stream. The SAG Awards. Amazing. So nice. um, it'll be on YouTube initially, then, you know, on the, the, the other plat- the next platform after mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But so Netflix, Netflix would be would be my choice. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm biased. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Amen. I'm, Amen. I'm biased. Amen. I think they would be my first choice, too. It will it'll definitely be mine. <laughs> I think I spend more time on theirs than anybody. So. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so, yeah, so man. Let me, and let me just put this out here. Netflix. If you, you know, want to produce and and be the dis- official distributor, holla at us. Yes, mm. there you go. Holla mm. at us. All right. There it is. Put it down. Put yeah. it hey, listen, down. closed mouths don't get fed. That's there what they go. say in the sip. There you, <laughs> <That's go. right. laughs> there you go. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, man. Um, Brother Hill, you have any final thoughts, you know, um, 
for this episode you want to leave with our listeners? Uh, I just want to say that I feel extremely blessed, brothers. Um, I, you know, this is a, a dream uh, that's coming true. Yeah. That we've been uh, we've been living for a while. Uh, first, me and you, brother Ronald, and yes, and then you know God had placed on my heart, brother CJ, Thank and you. with with his acceptance, along with your skills. I mean, we just got a dream team here. You can just <laughs> you can just listen to the podcast and just see what's happening. <laughs> I will say one one thing I do after each episode. I yeah. when I go out on the road, yeah, I prefer to listen to my podcast shows, or, you know, or a podcast shows. So when I have an episode, I be pumped. I'm like, I'm gonna edit this, yeah. and when I take that long drive wherever I'm going, right. I'm listening to the episode. So I can't wait to listen to this one. Nice, nice <laughs> you know what I'm nice, saying, nice. brother CJ. What are your final thoughts for our listeners? You know what? Before I provide my final thoughts, can can I can I ask? Because I want to get you involved in this as well. Uh oh. See, and, and being I'm a okay. podcast host, I, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, Here you yeah, go. Amen. Right. All right. Yes. You know, what What was your your interest? What intrigued you mm-hmm. in becoming involved in this project? I think around the time that uh, Brother Hill and I, um, God, well, one the way God brought us together, mm-hmm. that was just. Like I'm one God, God created me this way, you know, mm-hmm. where it's kind of like you have to catch my attention. So he was like, what can catch my son's attention? Mm. And when I look at how God just allowed everything to just fall into place for us to even connect, because I was already a writer. You know, yeah. I was already, a, yeah. I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to be a director. Yeah. Um, and so I was already doing that, you know, on short films. And so the day Brother Hill walked in, in um, in the classroom, in my classroom, I'm just like, who is this This brother here dressed like, I mean, you know, like he, 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 he going places. He's right. been places, you right. know. So I'm already like just the way he was dressed in his in his suit, you know, and just came in there. And, um, and then just to hear his story, like he didn't, of course, he shared it in a light, you know, that can be presented to the students, you right. know, in Orange mm-hmm. County. But um, but he did it in a way that it caught my attention just hearing his story. And I wanted the book after hearing his story mm-hmm. to the students. I'm like, I want a copy of this. And, you know, I'm one, like all my my, my, my frat brothers, all my all my peers, they know I'm always saying, I'd make a good film. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. anytime I see something crazy in life, I'm like, that'd make a good film idea. That's like my favorite thing. That's what I said to Brother Hill's book. That would make a good film idea, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. And so for me to have that thought, those thoughts in my heart, and then feel a little disappointed because I didn't get my book right away. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so when his when his again. wife when his wife you know ended in my mama's chair, I was like, God, he aligned that thing to come back around, and um, and it was there. You know what I'm saying? So on this journey, it's been tough. It's those that know your writer, your director, whatever mm-hmm. you are, producer. Mm-hmm. You're trying to find funding for your film, so it's really tough to stay motivated, you know, in a project. Mm. And so what kept me motivated in this project, of course, Brother Hill's amazing. We've actually grown to be great brothers, you mm. know, in this experience. You Amen. know, I look Amen. at him as a big brother, a mentor, Amen. just looking up at him and all the great work he's done and what he's been through. And then the family that he's actually, you know, has, you know, he's raised up some amazing children are doing great things. Um, and just to see him and his wife still loving on each other, still doing what they do, like that's, that's that's yeah. a blessing to yeah. see a black man yeah. and a black woman doing that, you know. Mm. Uh, and so that inspired me, of course, with my own wife, you mm-hmm. know. And, of course, I have amazing parents that inspired me, too. But yes. to see that from yeah. even an outside source that I grew sure. up, sure. that's just amazing. So, but, um, but, yeah, I saw those great qualities in him as a family man, you know, as a deacon in church. Um, still haven't heard him speak yet, but we can we, we heard a little here tonight, right, yes. on this yes. episode yes. today, yes. you know. So you got me thinking it's night. That's how good it was. You know, I'm calling it night. We still daylight out. But yeah, but you know, I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like, wow. So we're going to get the, I'm sure get that experience. But, um, but yeah, but that's what inspired me to stay focused and stay on this film project. And naturally I've written a lot of other projects, but um, God knew I, he needed to light the fire again. So mm-hmm. guess what he did? Send you, brother CJ. Yeah. Amen. You was the fire yeah. that Amen. I needed because brother Hill and I have been on this for yeah. a minute, and so yeah. Yeah. I was getting to a point. I was yeah. like, it'll just happen when God is ready, you know. Yeah. And then God sent you. 
That's and right. so I said, you know what I said? I said, God must be ready. Yes, that's so, right. That's and this has happened to be, we're going into the seventh year. Like this has seventh been year, the yeah. one project that I actually went back to school. A lot of people don't know that. I went back to get me a creative writing master's. I wrote th- 30 pages for this first draft and threw all that away. I have to get my master's and wow. started over. So that's, and and that master's at full sale. So that that's how committed I was to making sure I told this story and gave it the justice that it needed and deserved wow. to be told. So I'm in it for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So mm. so there you go, brother. Mm. Mm. Well, that's mm. awesome. That's awesome <laughs> to hear, man. Yeah. Now, to add to respond to your question, maybe a two-part artistically, um, it, you know, I, in, in my parting words, it gives me an opportunity to, to grow um, artistically, um, being an executive producer on a major feature film, yes. and I'm calling it major because it will be major. Yes, Amen. oh yeah. And so it gives me an opportunity to grow. It gives me an opportunity to work with some dynamic brothers as yeah. well. And then you know the, the other actors and the and the, the crew that will eventually come together. So I can't wait to see that. The other part is, you know, I just want people to 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 be entertained. Mm. Yes. What many people don't know. Is C J C E E J A Y is an acronym, creating entertaining experiences through my joy of the arts and you. Wow! So I want people wow. to wow. be entertained, right? Wow! Ooh. Wow! So Ooh. Many, yeah, that many people that was don't the first know for that. me. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me I just mean, drop that break that there. down. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, hey, you may you may have to rewind that. Yeah. Again. Okay, I'm glad I got it recorded. Yeah, hey, amen. <laughs> that brother deep right here. Deep. So you know, yeah. I, I want experiences you know, when people to be entertained. Because I, I heard an actor um, just the, just the other day. People pay their hard earned monies to watch a, a, a film, mm-hmm. whether it's going to a theater or whether it's sitting in front of their TV. They want to be entertained. They want to they want to experience some type of emotion. Right. right? Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure we tell a phenomenal story, a sensational story. I love alliteration, a sensational story Mm -hmm. where they are also entertained. But some type of emotion is invoked, Mm -hmm. but also being that it is some spiritual in it Mm -hmm. that they were to. For me and my house, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. right? But for whatever they they serve, mm-hmm. that they have some type of gratitude and appreciation mm-hmm. to that as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's yes. what yes. I would love to see. Amen. All right. Amen, Amen. man. Amen. Well, wow. it's definitely been a blessing to have wow. both of you. I've been trying to put this together. Brother CJ had to come back to town because right. we yes. had to reschedule this yes. thing because yes. I think we had a hurricane coming through. Or, oh, no, some other situation no, popped up. No, it was up. a hurricane, and then I, 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 I got sick. Wow. And But, <laughs> again, even though we, I had to come back, that was back in November of 2022, mm-hmm. I had to come back. I, I said this yesterday, mid mid show of the, of the, the discussion panel. Mm-hmm. I said, y'all know what? I just I have to say this because I'm being led to say this that God is good. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah. Right. All right. No. right. Yes. Oh yeah. And so he worked it out to a point where I was supposed to fly in today, mm-hmm. but then I got the call to moderate the discussion panel on the 17th mm. in South Florida. Mm. Wow. So that rearranged my trip a little bit, mm-hmm. but it worked out perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah. Perfect. Because yes. it was. His time. His time. His time. And, 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 and for y'all that just don't know the God we serve, let me let me drop something else. You was in South Florida, right? Mm-hmm. My wife, uh, Monique, is from South Florida, right? What you say? Monique is also born on the 17th day wow. of February. You see the wow. numbers there on the 17th. Wow. I know you're you a numbers flew. guy. <laughs> <laughs> you already know, right? You already know. All right, we don't want to get too deep here, but you yeah. already That's know. Deep. Yeah, you That's already deep. know. I see that? Like I caught yeah. the numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. I'm thankful for both of y'all being on this show, Thank on this you. episode. Thank you, Now, brother. when we all come back together later down the road, we can definitely come back and, and inform the people of our success because we are – God is going to lead us mm-hmm. towards yes. success. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so I look forward for us reuniting on another episode and talking about the great things that God is doing Amen. through this film. All right. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. 
Uh, stay tuned. We have a lot of great more episodes in store. Hopefully this one blessed you. And again, I thank Brother CJ and Brother Hill for blessing us with their presence. And uh, man, we're excited. We're excited of what's to come. All right, stay blessed. Thank you so much once again for tuning in to another episode of Ronald Dills the Second Podcast. We hope that this episode blessed, inspired, and encouraged you on your career journey. We have so many great episodes in store, so make sure you stay tuned. In the meantime, we pray that God blesses your career. May he bless the work of your hands and all he has for your future. Take care and be blessed.